Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone watching. Nick here, Adam's there. We're doing a outside light today. We've got a 30 watt LED flood light on the back of this house. It's very tall, so we're not having a sensor, but we've got some NRJ smart switches, which we're gonna use. Yes, this is a coffee, delicious. The loft is horrendous, and I mean horrendous. I've got a long way to crawl, mass jobby, glove jobby. So come and join me. I'll run through the specs in a little bit of what we're gonna do, why we're gonna do it, and how we're gonna do it. Cheers. Also hit the subscribe button, nearly 100K, thank you. And the thumbs up, Adam, yeah, cool. Look at this for a back garden. Oh, what a view. I've got to put a light around the same size, uh, around the same height as them extractors. But I'm just looking, I'm gonna get my ladders out now, figure out, first of all, if I can reach. Otherwise, this video is gonna be very short. I mean, you stand on the top step, can't you? As long as no one's looking. I've got a mask. I've got a few of these masks instead of the big once over ones, because I do, the other ones are fantastic, but you cannot hear me speak. And we're all about the YouTube life. Not my lungs life, apparently. So we're gonna wear this in the loft. Got my um, gloves already on. High flex from Ansel. Put a link below in the description, you're welcome. Weapon of choice is the giant little ladders. Hyper light, which is ironic because they're anything but light. I purchased these for about 600 quid, which is expensive. It is expensive. This is not a sponsor video. Trying to get sponsorship from little giant ladders is like um, pff, trying to get a rewired quote from Artisan, less than 30 grand. It ain't gonna happen. But uh, <laughs> these are great, and I'll show you the benefits with it. Two legs here, side and side, a stability that come out, that support it widthways, and you can adjust them to different bits. So if the ground's uneven, you can still use the ladders, which is decent. You've got this rope here, there's a pulley system, and the hooks here. So as you pull it up, it locks itself, and you pull it up a bit more, and then it locks itself back down. Very cool. Right, I'd put a link down below but I think I was the only person stupid enough to buy a 600 pound pair of steps just because they were green, childish. Right, legs out, they're angled and they're spiked, but I'll bring the camera a bit closer. So we'll bring that one up a click and we're level. Oh, delicious. Oh, that's my hand in the way. So there we have it, a little trip hazard for me, just there. The legs, that one is a bit higher, so you get the angle to make sure it's straight. Got a stupid click there to let you know you're on the bottom. I just realized for the first time ever, I've got a spirit level, decent. Resting on the plastic, I could shift it over to the brick, but I'm gonna shift it over to the brick. I can already see the comment section now. Right, it's on the brick. Okay, don't shout at me. You can stick her in this loft and you'll, uh, you'll understand the pain. Adam, you're not standing on top of them steps, are you, mate? No, I'm just levitating. Oh, that's just... good then. Because, oh, Christ, if you were, health and safety. Whew. Also, I do have a mask on now. As you can see. People keep asking, the video the other day that I did when I changed the extractor fan, this is the IL925R Unilight. It's different settings, it's wicked, I always carry two on me at all times. If you use my code Bundy, you'll get 25% off and I'll put a link down below. But they're brilliant lights and I wouldn't recommend it if it isn't. This is my favourite light that Unilight have ever made so far, so go and check it out. I'd like to say to you guys as well, oh we're doing a bit of POV. Put the camera on the head. But someone left the camera mount at home. So as you can tell straight away, this is a very low pitched roof. I can touch the ceiling by sitting on the loft hatch still. I need to get to the very far side, find a light feed, put a kinetic box on it in a whisker box and drill it straight through. But right now I'm gonna just try and clear a bit of space with one hand, might I add. Which way am I gonna go? Does that even work? Oh yeah, it does. I can't. Ow. I'm physically too big. I'm physically too big to fit through this little gap. Oh my God. I just tore my penis off 100%. Oh! Right, round one complete. We're one penis down. If anything, we're a bit lighter. Oh dear, oh dear. Right. Do it for the tube. Good thing about these lights as well. Very, very magnetic. And there we go. Right, the extractors are here. So they're the two grills. You can drill through straight here. The light and feed for the bedroom is down here somewhere. I can stick a rod up that in a little bit. It's amazing what you see. We've got thousands of dead wasps up here. And I'll just move the insulation back in an old wasp nest as well. It's amazing how it, it works. If you just look, look, look at the pods. They all grow. Ooh. All the pods that they've all grown in. But luckily I'm wearing my high flex gloves so it's not a problem from Ansel. Link in the description below. This is one of the lights in the bedroom. I was hoping to go for that one, but that is literally just a link off this one. So we need our permanent live neutral and earth. 
and then this feeds round to our grills there. This is a massive, massive loft to go through and uh, I've just fixed the light bulb, found a lamp in there but the ball hold was broken so I've stuffed some insulation in it for literally 10 minutes. I've turned the light off now just so I've got a bit of normal light in there rather than torch light. I'm going to put it as a short. Oh, oh, the hatred. God, did that catch fire? What a loft insulation, which is fire retardant, is going to catch fire. Alrighty then. Adam's having fun. He's not on the top step anymore, so we're all right, aren't we, mate? Yeah, I'm just levitating. So yeah, that's good. Because um, if you did fall off the top step, like, phew. Anyway, luckily you're not. Nice little job, little tidy. We wanted it a bit lower down away from this. We don't want to interrupt him with the PIR sensor on it. So, so far so good. I'm going to go around now. Don't look at Adam on the ladders in the background. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go around now and um, get the drill, get a drill bit. We used this one earlier, but it's a bit long for me to use up in the loft. I'm going to pre-flex everything down here. So we've got the kinetic stuff. We're putting it in a whisker box. What I'm probably going to do is do all that. I know I will have to come back down. As I said, I'd like to, to actually, and what I might do now is stick the receiver and link up the switch so it's all pre-linked i'll show you what i mean sorry to interrupt everyone uh sponsor bit for tradeify is an offer on at the moment for 50 percent off for the first few months you've heard me yap on about tradeify for so so long and i wouldn't if it wasn't worth the money and it wouldn't save you time and effort in the evenings i just had an entire week off in northern ireland doing bits and bobs with youtube and while i was away i just took my ipad did some quotes did some invoices scheduled some stuff Adam was doing a little bit in the background as well, so we're sending some stuff through Tradeify as well. Hit the links below, it's well worth your time and effort, It'd be worth your while, and once again, I wouldn't recommend it if it didn't really help. Right, what I'm choosing to do, I've just put a plug top on a bit of flex, so I'm not messing around in the loft, doing silly things and wiring everything. We're gonna prepare the receiver. And these are the NRJ ones. I've got a massive stock of these in the unit, and they ain't cheap, they really ain't. The Quinetic ones allow you to just have this loose, but these ones don't, like they have a shield to cover up the single insulation going in. These ones don't. So these have to go in a whisker 308, I think. That we can do some stuffing glands on. Screw it down to the joist in there. But if I pair this up now, power it on, I'll show you the process with that. It just means I can then pre-make the link up, take it all up there, do it in one shot, rather than do it all, power it up, do my test that I want to do, link it up, come back down. Like it just saves another process. So just don't lick the ends, okay? Yeah. That's brilliant. There we go. Turn it on. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, it's paired. Up. Right, I'll undo that. Cheers, mate. Yeah. And it's literally just as simple as that. That's paired now. And then we can actually do what we want to do upstairs. Stay. You're balancing on Chris, which is already... I'll show you a picture. That's what you look like to me right now. What we're going to do. So whisker 308, which is... No, it's not. It's the 407. Call it bit whisker S, M, and L and XL. Much easier. This receiver will then go in here, like so. We'll knock out the 220 mils. We'll put some grommets in there. We will link everything up. So we'll make one side, which will be our feed side, which will go from the live neutral earth of the pendant in the bedroom. That will come up. It will go across to this, which will screw down. And then the other side, the load side, will feed straight outside into a small coffin box, which is the smaller versions of these on the outside, which we'll then link our light into with another stuffing gland and link through. And it is simple as that. It's just a lot of faffing backwards and forwards. Hi, Kev. Good Come and say hello you. to the camera. Hi. It's one of the Chuckle Brothers. Come and say hello. Oh no, one's died, doesn't he? Yeah. This is Kev from Power. Hi. Thanks, mate. This is the one that I needed and the one that I, that Kev picked up by accident. No, 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 no. <laughs> Adam picked up by accident. Let's go with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. we recorded I'm it. I'm actually de deducting from his wages today. Excellent. He's actually earning minus money. Right, let's grab that. Thanks, mate. Thank you very much indeed. All right, so we've got cables in now. I've uh, locked them off. This is just to grab it. This isn't to cre create an IP rating, whereas I would have put the little um, grommets with inside for the twin. It's just to grab it to support the cable so it doesn't get yanked out. Someone miraculously climbs that far in the loft if they're stupid like me and trip over it. I'm gonna put some clips in it. Don't worry about it. All right, we're all right with that. I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna put a few screws just loose in this. Put the lid on. That's then good to go. We've got the long side, which we're gonna dip down. We'll stick a rod up in the bedroom, which I'll show you in a second, so we can find where we wanna take that. We take the cable stapler. We take, uh, I'm not gonna take the impact because there's too much stuff to drag over there. Screwdriver is putting that down. We wanna poke that through. But obviously first we need to drill through into the house from the ladder. So while I'm doing that, I'll get Adam to foot the ladder, even though it's got the spread legs uh, of the ladder itself and supporting it. I'd rather Adam there 
so if I fall, he can catch me and break the fall for me. He will hurt him a lot, but you wouldn't take that risk, aren't you, Adam? He's, yeah, he said yes, it's fine. If his mum's watching, he agreed to that, so that's fine. Seems to have misplaced all my uh, small drill bits. So, just to make life more difficult, we're going to use the one that reaches to next door. But it means I can drill from lower down on the ladder. With three points of contact, always genuinely, as much as I mess around. Right, that's our light. This is our rod. Right. She's up. We've got a cable, we've got a cable stapler, we've got a box, we've got a torch, we've got our GoPro. There's our rod. First port call, the rod. What's this? What I'm doing is just wong that over there. I'm going to try and pull as much slack back as possible and just leave what I need. We can then clip it across this delicious bar all the way across. And then we're cooking. Well, we're not actually cooking, but we're, we're lofting. Now, I'm not trying to show off here, but it hasn't taken me very long. Cable staple, cable staple, cable staple, up, across, across, across. We'll do this full run over here now, secure it down. Just try and do the be a better job than the last guy that was in. And you're always onto a win in there, unless the last guy was really bad. It's not the straightest thing in the world, is it? Box is here, just gonna screw that back to there. More than enough, poke through our hole there. They're not in a downward loop as well. So if there's any water ingress, it'll just drip down. Not a downwards hole, that would, yep. Boom, boom, boom. So we're done up here now, and that should be the last time we've got to come up here because we can do all our tests from the whisker box that's going on the outside. But what I'm gonna do, as I gradually go back, I'm gonna start pulling all this insulation. I didn't do any of this. So I'm gonna start pulling it. I'm presuming, where we did the dog tint, did this, and never put it back. So if it helps the homeowner, it's only gonna take me seconds. Got a mask, I've got gloves. Link in the description, done. Lots of cable, Adam's here. He just prepped a few things for me. We just put the whisker box on to start with. It's gonna be, it's gonna be sketchy well, guys. Don't, 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 it, don't copy this. Uh, you can't see anything if I'm doing it from down here and I can't take the camera up. Apologies for not having it on my head for once. But the cable going out, it's gonna be fed into the back of this. We'll screw this back, we'll use the marksman, all that sort of jazz. Pull it down and we'll put the light a little bit lower, a bit towards more of the, the ladders, so it's more central to the, the house. Uh, we'll jump back as and when we can. My eyes are so itchy from the loft. Right, well, I didn't die, which is always good news. That's what we've got there. I'll put a picture on now. So we can do an outside light. Always try and use a washer. Always try and clip the cable back because it looks a lot neater. We've used the way it goes in there. And I also pierced a tiny little hole in the bottom of the grommet on the whisker box of water was ever get in there through ingress. We'll have a, um, a drip hole to get out. We're doing outside lights try and use a cable clip because it does make a massive difference because in the summer when the heat hits it it will flex and it'll flop around but i've just done all that adam's just going to go and link through live and earth so we can do an r1 r2 insulation resistance test so we'll get all this back out uh i'll put a card up here now a link to the video where i ir tested smart switches it didn't damage it in the test that i did it worked a treat so yeah got no issue with that so ir r1 r2 we'll get a zs on the end as well but my new tester should be coming this month. I bought the new X1, Mega X1, about 1500 quid, something like that. It's been on a previous video. Um, so that should be turning up, hopefully, from what they said, next week. But I'm, I'm out of the loop with it. So we're gonna have a little play and do a video on all that when it turns up, if, if I know how to use it. It'll be a long time to use this one. So we'll jump back in a little bit and uh, we'll power up and then we'll see if the uh, wireless switching is working and within the house, outside the house. And, It works from inside, works from the bedroom, works from the kitchen, works from the utility, and it works that you can't tell. But that's gonna be amazing, because there's never been an outside light on this garden, and it's an absolutely gorgeous view over there, it's just all woodlands. So, uh, much as we wanted to put a PIR on it, it's too high for a PIR, and we thought, oh, we can conjure it down from the light, do a low-level PIR, but then we're adding to more pipe and everything on there. We gave the customer the option, went for this option. I think it was a great, it was a great decision. Personally speaking, less work for me and Adam. You came up with an idea. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, that's it, so it's done. We're signing off. Thanks for all for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Nearly 100k. I'm going to say this in every video now. Covered in loft insulation. And we're back. Yeah. Delicious. Right. Cheers, guys. Take care now. Bye bye then. Bye.